In this video, I'm going to show you some essential gadgets that every self-respecting 21st century geek should have. A small black light to find fluorescent objects. For example, I discovered that a single key on my Apple keyboard is composed of a different type of plastic from the rest. Weird, huh? A smartphone is required to keep your geek credentials. An Apple iPhone is best, but an Android is an acceptable substitute. An infrared thermometer so you can find out the temperature of various objects without touching them. A soldering iron. Every geek should know how to solder. A geek should have at least one really old computer from the 1970s or 1980s. A Commodore 64 is a good starting point. You will need a digital multimeter. These come in handy in all sorts of situations. An Apple iPad is essential geek gadgetry, although I really can't give you a good reason why other than it looks cool. Every geek needs a cat. I know they're evil, but they make really fascinating specimens. Don't take my word for it, here's some other famous geeks with cats. Mr. Data on Star Trek has a cat named Spot. Even Chief O'Brien has a cat named Chester, and Mr. Barkley has a cat named Neelix. Dr. Evil has a cat named Mr. Bigglesworth. Hermione Granger has a cat named Crookshanks. Doctor Who even likes cats and has been seen petting them in many episodes, and even this old Commodore 64 game Doctor Who has a cat as a companion. Sheldon Cooper is seen having many different cats. Former geek Mia Thermopolis had a cat named Fat Louie. And if Babelicious Sabrina likes cats, well that's good enough for me. And I'm not sure if we ever found out if Schrodinger's cat's alive or dead. A selection of laser pointers to do cool science experiments. Or you can use them in combination with your cat. If you get a violet colored laser, you can even use it to pester wasps. A ham radio capable of transmitting and receiving on tons of different frequencies. A Chevy Volt. The car plugs in like any other tech gadget, and let's face it, once you're inside, you realize the whole darned car is essentially one big geek gadget. Acceptable substitutes would be a Tesla, a Nissan Leaf, or if you can't afford anything else, a Toyota Prius. An OBD2 scan tool. No geek could tolerate their car giving them some check engine light without having the ability to look and see what the actual error is. You should have drawers full of cables. Nothing is more irritating to a geek than trying to set up some piece of equipment only to discover that he does not have the correct cable, or a long enough cable. There should always be plenty of spares. A true geek will have his own copy of the movie War Games. It can't hurt to have your own sonic screwdriver, and if you don't know what this is, then you aren't a true geek. A fire extinguisher. A real geek will make fires from time to time, and need a way to put them out. This was by no means an exclusive list. In fact, I left out a couple of things. For example, every geek should have a telescope and a microscope. I actually have both, but... I seem to have misplaced them somewhere, so I can't find them right now. Um, I, a geek should also have several different t-shirts with logos from either uh, video games or uh, old science fiction shows on them. That is a requirement as well. I would show you mine, but I'm just too lazy. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. Until next time.